Selling your art online can feel extremely overwhelming as a beginner because you have to be able to juggle between everything. SEO, building a website, marketing your art, copywriting, artist statements and artwork descriptions, photographing your art, all while at the same time also making art. And all of these things are full-time jobs in and of themselves. So of course it feels impossible, especially when you're an introvert because what if you don't want to be marketing yourself all of the time? What if you don't want to become a content creator online? I'm going to break down this video into four levels of selling your art online all the way from the beginner level to the million dollar sales level. The first level is using online galleries. The first thing you'll need in order to sell your art online is having a place where you can sell your art online, having a website. And the first problem that occurs here is the imposter syndrome because a lot of artists actually don't feel like they deserve to sell their art online. They don't feel like they deserve a thousand dollar price point or a two thousand dollar price point or buy at all and believe it or not the first level of art websites that you can work with as a beginner artist online galleries partially solve that feeling of imposter syndrome because here's the thing if you are working with an online gallery you will be one of the 40,000 artists on that online gallery and sure that might be a very saturated marketplace but there are also benefits connected to that because one of the 40,000 kind of makes you somewhat invisible and therefore makes it easier for you to post your art online available for sale. If you, however, have your own personal website and the spotlight is 100% on you, then there's a lot of pressure that some people can't really deal with. Now, a second benefit that comes with these mass online galleries is that you will be comparing yourself to other artists on these online galleries. And some of these artists will have average quality artworks that they sell at a thousand dollar price point at two thousand dollar price point and so if you are an artist that is struggling with perfectionism that is constantly while they are making art criticizing themselves in their head all of the time hey this is not good enough this line is not straight wow you really can't really make art or something like that and while doing that you're building that feeling of insecurity and not, not being good enough and having that imposter type of idea about yourself then working with an online gallery might actually be partially the solution because now you are comparing yourself to people People who are selling at $2,000 price points who are less good than you and because they are doing that you start to believe that you can do that as well now you might be thinking well Tris, shouldn't I just go on social media for that because social media is full of crap artists and if I go there then I can sell my art and market myself at the same time while also getting that benefit well the thing is with social media the only arts that you get to see are the arts that are getting a lot of views getting a lot of likes that people adore to some extent and usually those artists have some skill going on they either have social media skill which makes them appear way better than they are or they're really fucking good at making art and so comparing yourself to those people will in fact give you more imposter syndrome, more insecurity, more perfectionism that destroys your own opinion about your own work. And this is for a lot of beginners, something that you might want to avoid. And the third benefit of working with one of these online galleries is that it helps you to get rid of the fear of doing something wrong. All the way in the beginning, I was afraid of everything. I was afraid of, for example, discounting my work. Should I discount my work? Should I not discount my work? What if I do that? And then the collectors laugh with me because real artists don't do that or when I was editing artwork images online and I would change the saturation rate for example I would suddenly become afraid hey is this allowed can I change the saturation rate what if a collector sees the image and then sees that the colorization is a little bit different or the saturation levels are a little bit different or the contrast is a little bit different than the artwork in real life and then perhaps they laugh with me that I can't actually edit my own artwork images and things like that you know like these thoughts in your head I was constantly having that and because I was having those thoughts I was afraid of just simply trying things out. Now the thing about these online galleries is that they give you some kind of template, some kind of fill in the blanks format that you just have to fill in. And so you can't really make those mistakes anymore. They will do the discounting for you. They will say to you like, hey, you have to upload in between three and six images. And so you don't have to think about how many images and what type of images you have to upload. And because you don't have to think about that anymore, you're not afraid of making those mistakes. And the last advantage of these online 
find galleries is that they are kind of resistant to predatory buyer behaviors. What if there's a collector who pretends that your artwork arrives damaged and then wants to get their money back or they don't pay at all, things like that. You are vulnerable against that as a independent artist. But if you work with these galleries, that's not gonna happen. They have teams to go after those people, those predatory buyers and stuff like that. And so you don't have to worry about that, which is a big thing for a beginner. Now, before we go on to the downsides, I quickly will show on the screen a list of galleries that you have to check out. These are all online galleries. They all have their personal benefits and disadvantages, but these are the ones that are worth checking out. Now, when it comes to the cons, a lot of the cons are actually also kind of pros. For example, scams. Yes, online galleries make you resistance from scams of predatory art buyers, but a lot of these online galleries are predatory themselves. Some of them will ask upload fees, which is insane considering that they also ask commissions on every sale you make. Paying upload fees is like buying a language course and the only word you learn is scam. It's absolutely ridiculous. Now the second disadvantage of these online galleries is again a downside to one of the positives. Namely that there are a lot of artists on these websites that make you kind of invisible which makes it easier to upload your work. There's also a downside to that namely that there are a lot of artists on these websites so the saturation levels are extremely high and if the saturation levels are extremely high it's very hard to sell your art on these websites and so that's kind of a big downside. And the third downside is that you don't get visitor data from the people that are visiting the pages on these online galleries. And so if you are marketing your sales page and people from your marketing are going onto the sales pages, then you don't actually know who goes on there. And so you can't use that data, use that information for retargeting campaigns later. And if you know anything about online marketing and online sales, you know that all the money is in retargeting campaigns. And so again, this is kind of a big downside. But the biggest downside by far to these online galleries is that they are asking 30 to 40% commission on every sale that you make, oftentimes without giving you anything in return. Because there are tens of thousands of artists on these websites. And so yes, these websites do market their own website, but only a very small percentage of artists, those that are featured on the main page or featured in the featured sections or the watch next sections are actually going to get something from that marketing. And so you're paying 40% commissions without getting anything in return. And so the question becomes, how can we avoid paying those 30 to 40% commissions while getting all of the benefits? Now, the answer to that question is building your own website with easy to use website builders like Shopify, Wix, Squarespace. You've probably heard them before. They're on YouTube ads all of the time. And this is the second level of selling your art online with these types of websites. Now, the first benefits is the obvious one, namely that you don't have to pay 30, 40% commissions on every sale you make and you keep all of those profits for yourself. The second benefit has something to do with research. A lot of artists, when they are trying to build their own websites they are going into research mode hours and hours and hours a day for sometimes months on end to figure out how to build a website because it's kind of complex and you kind of need some kind of technical skill and so what they will do is they will postpone on doing stuff by doing research by learning by pretending that they are making progress and the benefit of these website builders is that they make it extremely easy for you to use and so you don't have to do all of that research you can literally build one of these websites out in a matter of hours. And the third benefit, depending on where you're at in your career, which will actually be a benefit or perhaps a disadvantage, is that there are no saturation levels. When you are marketing your own website, you are in fact marketing your own website and your own art instead of the website of somebody else with artists that are featured on those websites that have nothing to do with you. And so if you play this game correctly, you can get way better results with these types of websites than with online gallery. Now, one of the downsides is that it's slightly more technical to build a website with one of these websites builders. Not that it is hard. I think 98% of people who are watching will probably find it fairly easy to build a website with one of these websites builders. But for the 2%, there's also a solution. You can just go on Fiverr, hire somebody, outsource it to somebody else, and they will build it for you for some kind of price. And so this is actually a minor downside that you shouldn't really take too seriously. And the second downside is that depending on which option you choose, 
use you might not have visitor data going on your website again and so again you will not be able to create those retargeting campaigns which is where all the money is which is kind of a, a big downside and so when you're choosing one of these website builders definitely be aware of that feature if that is possible or not now the major con with these websites is that you don't get any type of creative freedom these websites have formats have built-in templates that you have to follow and so inevitably your website is going to look like every other website out there which is not a problem if you want to sell probably even a good thing if you want to sell but if you want to have a website that is an expression of your creative vision of your creative personality that is kind of in line with your art and also creative in and of itself then you will not be able to do that with these websites and so one of the questions we can ask ourselves is it possible to sell without looking like everyone else without sneaky sales strategies sell out type of atmospheres and sell in a way that is completely in line with your creative vision and completely in line with an expression of being an artist well the answer is to go towards the third level of selling your art the third level of selling your art online is by developing your own website building it from scratch you could code it you could pay somebody to code it or you could use something like wordpress this is kind of a open source version of website builders and you have way more creative freedom with this and this is one of the first advantages having that creative freedom having the ability to choose anything you want any format any color any type of functionality you can build in membership sites you can build in course websites within your wordpress team and stuff like that and so there's a lot of creative freedom now well, let's talk a little bit about creative freedom why would you want to have creative freedom in the first place a website is not designed to be creative if you still have to be creative within your website then you probably just did a bad job while making the art and so you could make that claim and there's something true about it but there's also something true about the opposite in a world that is driven by ai in a world where it will become extremely easy to create any type of thing online that you want what's going to happen is that a lot of it will look the same if there's no competitive market advantage in the technical skill anymore because you don't need technical skill to build websites or to market your art online or to have a place where you can sell your art then everything becomes very equal and so you have to still differentiate yourself from others and so the question becomes how are you going to do that what is going to survive in the next 10 20 years well the thing that is going to survive is having a brand a brand will never die when everything becomes equal and everybody has the same type of website functionalities and everybody has the same access to the same technical tools and technical skills the differentiator becomes having a brand and so the answer to the question why would you want to have creative freedom is well if you have all creative freedom then you can simply build a brand way more easily and way more consistently throughout your website than with any other type of website builder and so that's probably the main benefit of these wordpress website builders now besides that you also have the ability to have the visitor data of the people that are coming on your website which you can then use to do retargeting campaigns you also don't need a lot of coding skill depending on what type of stuff that you want to do with your website of course and just like all the other things mentioned you don't have to become a content creator in order to market your art you could perfectly just do marketing through for example google ads and then drive traffic out your website and sell like that without even having social media pages now the biggest disadvantage of building a wordpress website is that it will require some kind of technical skill it will be the biggest learning curve of all the things that we mentioned and you will when you're building that have to install plugins to do particular functionalities and then you will stumble upon your website not working anymore because of some kind of plugin that doesn't match the other plugins and then you have to go into some kind of research mode to find another plugin and etc etc it's gonna be a mess to some extent and for the first couple of weeks it's probably gonna be a part-time job that you have to invest your time in and so depending on your technical skill levels you might want to avoid this or this might sound like music to your ears because it's some kind of i don't know lego for grown-ups or something wordpress seems to be the one ring to rule them all seems to be the thing that has everything except for one thing a brand that is connected to million dollar sales because the truth is that i haven't seen a lot of wordpress websites that sell a million dollar price points and so the question becomes what websites do we need to use if we want to sell at very high price points for original 
art. In order to answer this question, we enter the fourth level of selling your art online, where you are going to collaborate with brands and websites that have a reputation for selling high ticket items, that have a particular brand that is established, that attracts particular types of buyers that these online galleries will simply not attract. And so I'm going to give you a list of websites in a minute, but generally speaking, we're talking about a website like Artsy. We're talking about particular online auction houses or galleries, blue chip galleries that also have online websites. Now, the first benefit is that you are going to work with particular brands that have a particular type of reputation that attracts a particular type of customer. And so these customers have more money. These customers have a habit of buying more expensive goods. And so you will have an easier time selling your artworks at higher price points. Now, a side benefit is that these brands have a reputation that is attractive to old establishment. People who are 50, who are 60, who are not that familiar with the online world, who are perhaps not ready to buy from a website like Instagram or YouTube, they are ready to buy from these brands because these brands have been in existence for the last decades. And so they know those names, they are familiar with those names and they trust those names. In other words, you will be able to access a particular type of market that you cannot access in any other way online. And so you might ask yourself, well, how can I access these websites? websites how can I collaborate with these websites and then we enter one of the downsides because they are not that accessible for regular artists for beginner artists in order to collaborate with these websites you will have to offer something of value something significant of value and so what type of value do you need to provide well you need connections potentially and then provide value to those connections whatever value that is realistically you're not going to be able to do that in the first couple of months probably in the first couple of years of your career and so what websites are we talking about well on the screen I will make a list of websites that you can check out that you can start planning towards and, and perhaps one day collaborate with one of these websites. Now there's one more thing that we have to talk about considering that most of you will fall into the first two levels of selling your art online and those first two levels are filled with art scams all over the place. There are for example online galleries that will not market their own website, will ask artists to come on their website and then market those artworks on those websites aka marketing their website while taking 40% commission from those artists and not paying them anything for those marketing dollars, which is insane. And there are thousands of artists falling for these traps because these websites have thousands of artists on them. And so we should be talking about this. And the reason these artists are falling for these traps is because they are not educating themselves. But that is not you. You are in fact educating yourself. You are in fact spending hours on YouTube researching to really figure everything out. That's why you will have all the information and not fall for these traps. And so we should be talking about this, but we're not going to because I already did in another video called best place to sell your art online, selling paintings fast, online galleries, VS artist websites, link in the description and in the end screen. That said, get the hell out of here.